Hello everyone. Going to do another tumbler today. Um, this one is again inspired by, the colours are inspired by one that I saw on YouTube um, and I had very similar vinyl to what the lady used. I'll link her video below. Um, the vinyl that I'm using is, I've only got a little bit left, is this gorgeous leopard print from Queen Bee Vinyl and Transfers. I'll link her website below as well. And um, let me tell you, if you've never bought vinyl from her before, uh, you don't know what you're missing. She has such a huge range and she's always expanding it and always after new ideas and new vinyls to, you know, put on her website. So really approachable, great to deal with, totally hassle-free um, service and I'll definitely be buying from her again. So, um, yeah, so check out her website. Um, so... So it's winter here in Australia and I'm a little bit drawn to the darker colours, sort of the browns and the deep reds and the, you know, golds and, you know, sort of those sort of really wintry colours. Um, <clears throat> so I thought that I would incorporate some of these colours into this tumbler. So what I've done is I've taped it off and spray painted where I'm going to be putting the glitter and the glitters I'm using are all Sparkles by Carbe Designs. Um, this one is called Stringy Bark. Very, very gorgeous dark brown. I'm also going to use Jacko. It's sort of a medium brownie goldy colour and then this one is Aussie Terrier which is also a brownie gold um, probably more gold than brown but it's definitely got those brown um, undertones so they're the three I'm going to use and I'm going to use Mod Podge to do these one these small bits but the big bit in the middle I'll use epoxy to do that so let me switch the view so that you can see what I'm doing and I'll get started I'll put some music on while I'm putting the glitter on because you've all seen me do that before Okay, so all the glitter is on there now, so I'm going to try and carefully remove the tape. I'm not going to be worried if the tape has pulled up some of the paint because that's getting covered by vinyl. So I'm hoping it hasn't, but if it has, it's not, it's not a major drama. So it has a little bit in places but that's where I'm putting the vinyl so I'm not overly worried so I'm gonna um, let that dry then I'm gonna put my vinyl strips on and then I'll probably 
Actually, I might go in with another coat of glitter before I put the vinyl on there and I'll be back when I'm doing that. So that's kind of what I'm up to. So I'll be back in about half an hour, I would say. Okay, so back again now. So this is dry. You can see it's made a bit of a mess around here, but I'm actually not worried about that. I'm just going to put vinyl over that now. So I will do that now. Um, I'll point you down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, <clears throat> so that's that step done now. So the next step will be to put a coat of epoxy onto that. I'm actually really quite pleased with how that turned out. I love those colours together. So I'll come back once it's had its first coat of epoxy and um, if it's smooth enough I'll put the decal on. If not I'll do another coat and come back when it's ready for decal. Good morning everyone. So the tumbler has had one quite thick coat of epoxy on it. Um, really pleased with how it's turned out. So I've got a few different SVG ideas for it and I'm not actually sure how it's going to work. So um, it's been a long time since I've used water slides. So let's just see how we go. So what I've done is I've printed the water slide out on clear water slide paper and I've actually done the outline in my silhouette and just cut out a white background. I'm hoping I did it right because it's not something I've done a lot of and you know like with all things everybody can constantly learns and I'm one of those people. So let me see which one it is. It's this one. All right, I should get some transfer tape and I'll be back in a second. Okay, back again. So now I'm going to put that there. Mm. 
I'm hoping that this will work how I plan it to work. So um, we'll just have to see. Pretty happy with that. Right, yo. Okay, so that is on there. Need to smooth it out a little bit and we'll keep going with the others. So I'll put some music on and sit back and watch the process. Still not happy with that one in the middle. I think I might take that one off and just put an ordinary SVG there. Before I do any more on this, I'm going to put the stripes on here so I can see where else to place my um, sunflowers. All the stripes are on, <clears throat> but you'll notice that I lost that little decal there. So I'm going to put that one back on there now. It's lucky I have a lot. Tumbler has definitely not been straightforward for me. But I'm really, really glad that I did it because it looks amazing. Oops. Okay. So now I've taken that middle seam off, like I said I was going to, and I need to come up with a new decal for the centre. So I'll just put this on and I'm not sure if I'll put any more flowers on but I'll put this one on and then we'll see what I can come up with for there. Leave it with me for a second and I'll go and find something to put in the middle there. Alright, so I've found
found a little SVG. It's very faint. Um, it says Wild Soul. So I'm going to stick that on here. And then that'll help me with placement of the rest of my um, sunflowers if I want to use any more. I think that looks much better than the other. So this tumbler has definitely not been a very smooth process for me. Ah, took my flower off again. And that's what I mean. So I'll have to put that flower back on again. Lucky I kept my water out. But as you can see, things don't always go smooth. And I'm by no means an expert tumbler maker. But even for the experts, there should be outtakes and bloopers because there's definitely plenty of those. But I think that looks much better. Much, much better. I need to stop fiddling with it. So I don't know whether I should put another one over here. I think I might, actually. Definitely might do that. Did that one go there? Okay, try again. It's lucky they're pretty easy to place like this. Okay, um, get my little tissue. They slide around a fair bit too. Okay. So, I think I will put another one there. I wonder if I should put another one down the bottom as well. 